Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on lines and graphs and all sorts of fun linear stuff. So um, what I'm going to do with this graph, these equations are called standard form or general form. It's ax plus by equaling c. And the easiest way to graph is by graphing the intercepts. What I mean by graphing the intercepts is what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, what happens if x is 0? If x is 0, I don't worry about that first term because 4 times 0 is 0, then negative 3y is negative 12. And if I divide by negative 3, y is 4. So my vertical intercept is 0, 4. But wait, what if y is 0? If y is 0, we're putting in 0 for y, I get 4x, I don't need to write a 0 term, equals negative 12. Divide by that 4 and x is equal to negative 3. So my horizontal intercept is negative 3, 0. Now I could come back and count up my slope, 4 out of over 3, if I wanted to plot more points. I don't have to though. Usually substituting in 0 and dividing is a very secure way of figuring out your two points. You're not very likely to miscalculate when you're doing the x and y intercept from standard form. Now, I'm going to go through all four of these examples and do this the work, and I'm going to do it pretty quickly. But I am going to note that if I want to find out what y is when x is equal to 0, it's 1, by the way, I could either do that work or I could do something called the cover-up method and just cover up the x and divide mentally. If I want to know what happens when y equals 0, x equals 4. If I cover up the y, I see that x is equal to 4. Now, because these are really small and close to the origin, I am going to do this negative one-fourth slope a few more times. If you watch my videos, you'll notice I'm pretty particular about my graphs. I really like them to be accurate. I figure visual math is the one that really needs to be accurate. Always have a ruler, always have an arrow. All right, so those are my first two lines in standard form. This is probably my favorite way to graph because of the cover-up method. Um, so again, I could just do the cover up and cover this up and say, hey, when x is 0, 2y equals negative 10, or y equals negative 5, 0, negative 5. Or I can cover up y and say, hey, if y is equal to 0, then 5x equals negative 10, or x is equal to negative 2. Notice that when I write intercepts, I do it with the parentheses and the zeros. Otherwise, the numbers don't have meaning. I really, really think all ordered pairs, all intercepts, everything needs to be written with the parentheses, comma delimited, zeros. So I know you know that the x value is zero for the vertical, and I know you know that the y value is zero for the horizontal intercept. Okay, zero, negative five, two, four, five, negative two, zero. Instead of jumping up here and getting my other one, I'll just graph the two. I know, I always do those extra points. I really like accuracy in my graphs. Okay, and last but not least, if x is equal to zero, then 2y equals 12 or y equals six. If y equals zero, then negative 6x equals 12, or x equals negative 2. Honestly, if I wasn't being asked here for the vertical and horizontal um, x, uh, intercepts, I wouldn't do this part. I would just leave it like this. At that point, I don't write it um, with the zeros and the commas because I'm not actually asking for an intercept. I'm just graphing. And if I'm just graphing, I'm going to graph 6. I'm going to graph negative 2. In this case, you might notice the slope is actually a 3, not a 6 over 2 but you might not. Look, I'm not doing any more points. Ugh, it kills me. Um, okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.